Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be giving you a Shopify blog post tutorial. As always, what I did is I got started through a trial to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like when you first get started in case you want to follow along from scratch or in case you haven't gotten to use Shopify yet. I will put a link down below in case you would like to follow along. They come with a free trial for easier access. So it's pretty easy to set up overall and I'll talk about a lot of the important topics as, as many as I remember, of course. And I'm even going to write a blog post using AI just to make it really quick and show you what it looks like when it's completely done. All in all, you want to go to the online store section and click on blog post. And this is most likely going to be here if you're starting with the trial. But either way, what you want to do is scroll down and click on the create blog post button. All right, so now that we are here, we have golf swing tips for improving your score. That's just going to be my generic title that I want to utilize. I have an image already uploaded, so I'm just going to upload that here, obviously related to golf. We have an excerpt. We have search engine listing preview. That's going to be website and SEO stuff. We'll do that after. So here's the cool part. Now that I know what the title is, normally this is where you're going to go in there and, you know, add some content. But I figured I'd change things up a little because it's very easy to say this is where you edit your blog post. So I'm actually going to create a very quick blog post using Jasper, which is a completely different software. So what I want to do is have it write a blog post intro. I said the title is going to be what I put there. And let's click on generate AI content. There's nothing more frustrating than playing a round of golf and shooting a high score. You feel like you could have done better if only you knew how to fix your score. Well, don't worry. In this post, I'm going to help out. Great. Nice little intro. So we have our intro there. Next is going to be our subhead where we have our paragraph generator. So the slower you swing your golf club, the more control you have. So I want to create a paragraph based upon that. So let's go to our paragraph generator. We have that in our paragraph, what it's about, and let's generate some content. All right, this is fantastic. When it comes to golf, there's one cardinal rule, go big or go home. Or is it? While a powerful swing may impress your playing partners, it won't do much good if you can't control where the ball goes. In fact, the key to a great golf game is not how hard you hit the ball, but how well you control your shots. I'm going to stop there. That's fantastic. Let's go back over here. So this would be a paragraph, obviously. So what we can do is highlight this and just make it bold just to show that it's going to be like a, an H2, you know what I mean? So let's go to the next one. We have another paragraph here. It's going to be the benefits of taking practice swings before you hit the golf ball. So something like that would be take plenty of practice swings before hitting the ball. Let's write some more content on that. Golf is a game that requires precision and finesse. Every shot counts and even the slightest miss can host cost you the hole. That's why many golfers take practice swings before they hit the ball. By taking a few practice swings, you can get a feel for the shot and ensure that you're lined up correctly, additionally, and so on and so forth. Great. And I think you get the idea. You know, I, I was going to do a few more, but I, I think that's good as it is. So what I can do is scroll down a little bit more. I'm the author. I just have it as Marketing Island. That's fine. Blog, you can keep it under news or you can change it to golfing, obviously, whatever is going to be more beneficial. If you have news, obviously keep that. So excerpt here, we could probably look for something that's going to be the best overall. That's like, you know, one of the juiciest benefits or one of the best tips or just something like this. The intro isn't bad. Talks about how it's frustrating when you're not doing well. And the reason I have this for golf is because this is a made-up store and it would be related to golf stuff when it comes to physical products, accessories, and even digital products and so on and so forth. Then we have our edit website SEO. Okay, so golf swing tips for improving your score. We have a description. I took pretty much the same excerpt there and of course the URL just because it hasn't been changed to a domain. So that's going to be pretty good. Uh, let's click on save for that. And just like that, we've very quickly created a blog post. Let's preview it and see what it looks like. All right, so there's a very big picture. Very nice, green related. Uh, golf swing tips for improving your score. There's the introduction that we got written for us for AI. We created our sub headlines. And of course, we have much more content. And obviously, that's a process that you can continue on and on. But I always love mixing and matching software tools. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to throw that in there. But all in all, that's going to be like the process when it comes to utilizing Shopify for creating blog posts. In my opinion, I think it's good. It's great that any type of builder software, whether it be e commerce, landing pages, websites, has the ability to allow you to create blog posts. There's also a very big question when it comes to like Shopify blogs versus WordPress. In my opinion, it's great that Shopify has it if you want to do a few blog posts here and there. But if you're really focused on if you want to do hundreds and thousands of blog posts, I think WordPress would be the best for that. There's just so many little ways to customize it and plugins and additions to help you out in terms of gaining better SEO traction, sending backlinks to and so on and so forth. But I know that was a very popular question. So I wanted to address that as well. Overall, that concludes the tutorial for Shopify. Once again, I will leave a link down below in case you want to try them out for free. They do all 
offer a 14 day trial. Jasper as well. If you want to check them out for creating your blog post, I will put a link for them in the description as well. They also come with a free trial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and that's about it. I'll see you in my next video.